definitely one of the favorite things I love to buy. How I pick my sunglasses and why I pick certain brands that I do. So in front of me, I have all of my sunglasses. Now, just like clothing and shoes, once you have established that brand that you know what works well for you, then, you know, we typically, we're creatures of habit, right? But I remember putting on the very first pair of Oliver Peoples and I put them on, wasn't familiar with the brand, and I tried them on really because it was the color and the shape. And as soon as I put them on and I opened my eyes to look out of them, I was like, wow. So right then and there, I really understood the difference in quality of lenses versus style. So the reason why I go to Aller Peoples first is because the quality of the lenses and how clear everything was. So sometimes, you know, when I am in Las Vegas, they do have a Oliver Peoples outlet store. I think there's only a couple in the country. That's where they definitely have one next time you're in Las Vegas. I'm going to start with the basic pair for Oliver Peoples. And that is a... the um, slightly black mirrored aviators classic right so this is huh. if you haven't tried it definitely next time you see them it's worth taking a look at so now here is another pair of other people's i've had these for numerous years and this is like their it's a larger oversized version of a slightly, uh, how do they say, how do they say, it? How do they say it? umbre? Like a slightly umbre look from darker to lighter a little bit. And it's a slight matte gold. I actually still make this style because it is such a classic style. So, so that was my second pair of Oliver Peoples. Um, let's shift it, let's change it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna switch to a pair of Chanel which I got last season and they're like that gold mirror that Chanel came out with and if you can see it it's like um it's like a light green gold tortoise shell I, I think this is definitely a classic they definitely still make these as well so that is my pair of Chanel I will also tell you that um, you're probably gonna see I keep all of my sunglasses I don't know about you guys that's just me I keep all of my sunglasses in my cases and I have them on a nice little tray so I'm able to see and I know which is in each case. So if they don't have this inside of, ooh, fix my hair, if they don't have the inside of the, the case, then I always ask for extra cases. Sometimes your essay will just say, oh, do you want another one to go with it? And sometimes they won't ask. So definitely ask. It may not be the exact brand of sunglasses but, that you bought, but that's okay. So like this one is, I remember getting this one from Barney's and I like it because it was a, a nice leather zip at the top. And this is one that I had gotten an extra one from D Dior that had given me. And this one just sort of opens like that. So that way it's nice and thin. It'll hold my sunglasses uh, very nicely inside while they're inside of my pocketbook. And I don't really have to carry the hard case. So next pair, speaking of Dior, let's go to my Dior pair. This is the pair I got last year and they definitely still make these. These came in the color I'm about to show you. They came in a pink and I think they came in a blue. And they are... Uh, uh, uh. They are a pretty square, neutral color, rimless, oversized glass. The reason why I titled this for all faces is because I have high, wide cheekbones. So finding the right pair of sunglasses has always been a challenge for me because sometimes I really like the different styles that are out there. And then when I go put them on, I'm like, ugh doesn't fit my face. And obviously we know how to try on sunglasses, but my number one thing is before I get too excited with the style, if I see it in the case, I'm like, oh, that's pretty, but I gotta try it on. And then right away, my first thing I'm looking for is my cheeks. And I wanna make sure that my cheeks do not extend past the frame. And if it does, and it's gonna make my face look bigger and um, and the glass, the sunglasses will not fit my face proportionally. So I've even bought men's sunglasses 
especially in aviators, because lots of time the women aviator styles are too small for my face. So actually my favorite pair of black aviators were from Cole Haan in the men department. And I must have wore those things literally for about eight years. And the only reason why I'm not showing them to you is because I lost them about three months ago. And I did something that I never do. I set them down or dropped them and someone picked them up. But I was so bummed. But anyway, back to these beauties. Actually, I other people's have a similar shape this year, probably a tad bit smaller. And it's a, they come in some pretty colors. So I'm really thinking about for this season, a green pair. And then I was looking in the magazine. I'm actually gonna show it to you now. And Givenchy came out with a very similar style to this as well. Very, very pretty. So it's so hot off the press that I actually went onto their website and department store's website. Nobody have these um, listed as of yet, but I'm sure it's going to be out soon. So I got a lot of nice compliments off of my last video. I'll post it here. The one where I did my perfume review for you. And I had on this blue with a, a red trim similar shirt to this and um, it was a Celine shirt and I got a lot of nice compliments off the shirt. I know I like that sort of collar on me and this shirt I got from Zara and it was the standard lapel collar and I took it to my local cleaners. I told them to cut off the collar. Now I paid $35, well $8 to do the collar and the sleeves are uh, just regular sleeves and what I did to keep my sleeves up my little trick you guys know something that I always do I keep a little rubber band fold it right there and that's what allows me to keep my sleeves up and I will actually link this shirt below for you because I love this so much I actually bought another one recently and I'm actually waiting for it to be delivered and I will tell you if you are considering buying you definitely just order your true to size because it will definitely be uh, oversized wearing my Zara white shirt a pair of Vince leather leggings my Gucci Princetown shoes that you guys see me wear all the time. I do have to run out for a little bit because I have to go to Kinko's and pick up some copies of some things. So, and then I thought I could still just dress really cute. Uh, although I'm just going to Kinko's and I'll be right back because I am definitely going to continue to stay safe as I, I, I pray that all of you guys are and everything is fine with you and your families if you're watching my video. So I'm praying that all is well. So back to the sunglasses. Okay, so where did I leave off? I do not know how to say this brand. Duh. You sunglass experts out there, tell me how do you say that? Um, Theory, Theory Laszlo? Terry Laszlo? I think I got these at Barney's, um, you know, before Barney's closed. <sighs> but anyway, so these are beautiful. What, what I loved about these is the, the shape of the glass. It's a it's slightly a square, but not really a square. I love the thickness of it. I love the, the texture and the quality of the black itself, how smooth the lens is. And I know you can't tell. And the lens has a really nice ombre effect with shades of like a burgundy red color. I'm going to move on to another black pair. Uh, it's Karen Walker. Here's the difference with these. Ha -ha. So these have black at the top with a little brown and black turtle shell at the bottom. And then the lens is like a really pretty soft mustard yellow. Probably have put two and two together now that I like lenses that you can see my eyes a little bit. So like my last pair that I'm going to share with you is my favorite pair. What did I do with them? My favorite pair. Okay, I have a tie. The the Dior ones are definitely one of my favorites right now. And equally but slightly different, other favorite pair is drum roll Allery Peoples. My blue, light blue aviators. And so that's so I will tell you that these are slightly, slightly oversized. We actually got these from a eyeglass store when I was in Las Vegas. You guys know Las Vegas. They just know how to do things up a notch than you know, lots of other places. They actually had custom ordered this color combination from Oliver People. 
So I love, 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 I love these. Sunglasses just makes you feel a little bit like, it's like putting on your makeup. I mean, it's like putting on your your perfume. The perfume kind of sets the mood before you leave. And then when you walk out, put these on, it's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I have my Sunday IG Live coming up because I'm giving away the glass containers I talked about from my favorites this week. And I am going to pick the winner on Sunday while I'm doing my IG Live at three o'clock. So if you see this, and then moving forward though, if you do miss that and you see this after that day, I'm still gonna be doing my Sunday Lives on my IG at three o'clock. Doesn't matter what generation that you're in, we're gonna talk about something that's gonna be helpful for you. Um, I'm about to get in the line for a Starbucks as I'm making my way to Kinko's. So that's where I'm going. And you know what? I'm putting this out there into the universe. I've learned in life, if you don't ask, you don't get. And so I'm telling you, the desires of my heart is I would love to reach 5,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is June. So... If you all could help me do that, I would be so, so, so appreciative. That is a goal because I figure, um, you know, because what I didn't do and I should have done this on my vision board, I talked about providing and giving you good, helpful content is what my goal and why I started the channel. But I never put what my goal was like numerically, you know, as I was going to try to taint each month or each year. And so I'm putting it out there now and I will add this to my vision board when I get back home. Something else I didn't share with you when I was doing my sunglass collection is I am, um, I did my hair for the first time in many, many years. When I say first time, typically here's another little insight to me. When you see me wearing my hair curly, that means Jackie couldn't get to the hair salon and the only way for me to know how to do my hair is wearing it that nat natural curly way. So, so for me to wear it straight, I've always had to go to the hairdresser because I could never blow dry it and curl it right. Well, needless to say, blow dry it, straighten it just so I could trim it. Now, I will tell you, when my hairstylist sees my hair, she's gonna be like, who jacked up your ends? But anyway, while I'm sitting in the Starbucks line, I just thought I would share with you that insight. Anyway, I'm moving in the line now. See you guys. <laughs>